sits down. He's still in this rod stud. Well, he is because we haven't seen any wand wielding wizardry from Whitlock. 67. It, it could be one of those occasions when Whitlock has got it into his head that he's going to win. Leg one. And Wayne, as you know, if you turn up on stage thinking, oh, I've, I've already got it won, we've seen it with other players, you cannot rouse yourself from your slumbers very easily. Well, you end up being embroiled in a match, and that's the last thing you want. Because your opponent is of a better state of mind, and that's, that's trying 100%. If you think you're going to win, you automatically are not concentrating 100%. Well, Simon Behind, I think that's just uh, killed any thoughts of that. Simon Behind was, come on, wants to get this done and dusted now. Bit of urgency. Aggressive throwing of the dart. Forcing it into the treble 20. He's so used to Whitlock. He doesn't throw the dart in, he hurls it in. Correct use of the fight set. Simon, you require 138. 19, triple 19. There you go. Double 12. That would have been a better Della than a Della. The 138 is a Della. 1983 world champ beat Eric Bristow in the final with that finish. He can't believe it either. Simon, you require 12. Double six. Simon Whitlock, second leg, Simon at throw first. Six, so Game Whitlock on. breaks throw at the start of the third set. Can he now gallop off into the sunsets? Yes, here he goes now. This is a different Simon Whitlock we're witnessing. This is Miles Bear. Well, something has kicked in in the break. Probably had a had a chat with with a manager or something. One hundred and fifty. Well, this is just different class there from Whitlock. Admittedly, only a leg and a half through this set, but averaging one hundred and twenty-five in this set. Sixty-eight. High quality, high octane stuff now from the big Aussie. Not missing now. Show him why. It's a nine to one shot to be a world champion. Well, the second dart was horrible from Yarko. The first and third were delightful. Double 18 to a dozen darter. And looking. Two set, two leg lead. Double 18. Game show in the second leg. Simon Whitlock. Oh, we're seeing some passion now. Seeing some aggression. Well, it's been a good month or so for Australian sport. They've already claimed the ashes down under the cricket. They won the Rugby League World Cup also. I wonder if they can have the World Dance Championship via Simon Whitlock on January the 1st. The fraudster, the imposter, that played the first two sets, claiming to be Simon Whitlock. Someone in a false beard wow. came on. Yeah, the, the beard, he started off as the beard to be slightly concerned about. Now he's the beard to be feared. Game. 
beyond dramatically. Averaging 70 odd at the start, now averaging mid 90s off the back of this third set performance. Averaging in this set 118.50. At the minute, you miss a couple of trebles with an average like that, it plummets. Well, we remember the time when he played Dennis Smith in that uh, first round when he could hardly walk. Do you remember a couple of years back and he produced an average of 104? Oh, I spoke to Simon, he, he had no idea where that came from. Incredibly, Simon is on 170 again. Another treble 19. That really is brilliant darting. Treble 18 is the only escape route. 58. Well, they call him Smiley, Yarko, because he doesn't smile very much. It's one of them ironic nicknames. Um, he's got no reason to smile during this, has he? He's being annihilated now. Remember, Simon Whitler was 2-0 down in legs in the second set. He ran three straight then. He's run three straight in the third set. So, six consecutive legs now to the Wizard. 93. Simon Whitlock, since the, the middle of that second set, you're right, Rod, he's, he's shown his class. Whereas Yarko has just not found any rhythm. 81. Well, if Whitlock does go on with this wrap-up victory, he will play Kevin Payne for the next round. He will start favourite against Kevin Painter, but I, for one, would not discount the artist in that game. Very, very confident, as we saw in the interview when I chatted him after the match, Wayne, and you picked up on it too. Really confident when asked if he could go deep into the tournament. Yarko looking at his hand. Looked like a snatch rather than a slip to me, but... A bad dart, no matter what. Well, a single 20 would leave 170. 60. Well, this will be his fourth attempt in 13 lengths. It's incredible the way it works out like that. Well, he hasn't even got the first dart right in it. Well, every single time he's missed the treble 20. Bull, perhaps? They used to do that with double 18. Used to leave it, leave it, miss it. Miss it all the time. And in the end, you think, now nah, I'll go somewhere else. Well, he's devastated. One hundred. Simon, who requires 65. He's found the outer ball tops. Yes, easy as that. Simon Winner, second leg, Yarko, the pro first. Game on. There may be a tiny opportunity missed for Yarko at 160 finish at the first treble. And then just tugged at it a little. 135. Throw in some decent darts, but just not on the trot and not often enough. Simon's playing well. He's got the scent of victory in his nostrils. He can sniff it. He sniffed the third round for the finalists last year. Finalists we mentioned 2010, runner up to Mark Webster in the BDO World Championship 2008. Pedigree.
Well, a hundred would leave 170. One hundred and forty. A one forty leaves one thirty. Another treble here. Ninety-nine. Simon, you require one hundred and thirty. Triple twenty. Well, he's already hit a bullseye in one combination. 89. You're going to require 80. To win the second leg of this set. 20 tops. Snap a seven leg losing streak. Game show the second leg. Yoko Kumura. Third leg. Wasn't easy. Came on. She said, Rodder, seven leg losing streak. It's. Easy to stop the rock, but he has done so. Well, that might just start the rock again. For Kamula, Whitlock hits his uh, fifth match of the match, which uh, was the same number he hit in his first match, also. One lost me. Well, credit to Simon here because he started off throwing darts like we've never seen the like. 57. From him, anyway, it was very, very poor indeed. But he's turned this round and now averaging 96. The first set, he's averaging 77. There you see it. One hundred. Impressive. Yeah, it was a really shaky start One for Whitlock, but he really has improved. To some tune since then, and Kamula has not been able to live with it. Just to add to Whitlock's stats, 102 and change in this set also, 60. so it's so continued that tongue-topping standard. Needed a brace for treble 19s. A brace of balls. A herd. Gets him down to 45. Forty-seven. Well, Yarko has a habit of Sorry doing that quiet. with his last start. Throws far too slow. Made a hash of that. But made a good job of that. After missing a single 13, just for a lack of concentration. Hits 9.32. Kamula must win the next two legs to stay in the championship. I'm going to see him again in the summer in the World Cup where he was part of Yanni Harvisto for Finland. They actually knocked uh, RBB and MVG out, the Dutch pair in the last one. So good pairs combination, but up on his own on the big stage. He's being uh, taken to school now by Simon Whitlock. Simon Whitlock now averaging 95.36. Very good. Ninety-eight. I think it's important for Simon as well. We've mentioned about being being swallowed up and being devoured once he's he's had the lead. Not just to win this. I'm, I'm not saying it's a given he's going to win, but it's very very likely. But to get it done, get it, get it killed off clinically. No messing about, no unnecessary dramas. One hundred and thirty-four. Well, it's the time of year for wrapping things up. He looks to wrap up this match in double quick time. It's only the sixteenth leg of the match in total. Whitlock has won eleven of the previous fifteen. Lopsided encounter. One hundred and fifteen. Good shot from Yarko. Fifty-eight. Yarko, you require one hundred and sixty. Got to win a ton. Sixty. So May not be enough. One hundred and fifty-two. Trouble twenty. Well, may go ball ball now. 
What was I thinking? 94. Not the same as he was thinking. Kamula wants 100. Level ton to level up the set. Cops. Double 10 to stay in the competition. He's still in it. He is still in it. Simon of throw first. Game up. Tom Whitlock has the darts in this. A leg that Yarko Kamula has to win. If he does not, he'll be flying back to Tampere in Finland. Spending Christmas home with the family. Desperate dart because he had to find a treble. Until a treble down and another. A couple of times he's left 130. This leg is all about Simon Whitlock. So many require 130. Does have minimum six darts off 130. Now treble 18. What else? 67 left. That leaves 50. Well, he's going to come back now, Whitlock. Three in hand. Should get at least. Should get two at a double. 96. So many require 50. Ten. Tops. Tens. Fourteen. Well, I don't know about you, but I felt that that last start was the quickest start he's thrown of the match. Does he have finish lineitis? You wouldn't have thought so, would you? Single sixteen. Well, is it an eight for tops for the set? Agonizingly close. So many required ten. Well, that would have prolonged it. This can finish it. Double five. Game show. It is finished. The fin is finished. Whitlock has finished him off. And Simon Whitlock is through to round three. It was a shaky start, but he got to grips with it and got through solidly. And he'll play Kevin Painter in the last 16.